when the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Using real life settings, we put the weapons, everyday objects, and theories to the test. Learn the best ways to bash on dead skulls and stay alive in any situation. Zombie go boom. Kick on dead ass. What's up, boom heads? Welcome to another exciting, mind blowing, and unbelievably freezing episode of Zombie Go Boom. For today's scenario, let's say you're in the middle of a snowstorm or an ice storm, and all you got to protect yourself is your trusty snow shovel. Is it going to be able to protect you from the zombie apocalypse? Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. The Snow Shovel. 37 inches of lightweight aluminum and plastic made to tear through the deepest snow. But can it make a zombie go boom? Now for the first part of the test, we're just gonna go straight to the front of the face using the flat end of the snow shovel. And for sub-zero temperatures, we're gonna need a sub-zero mask. Three, two, one. Okay, let's look at some of this damage here. It looks like a couple of his teeth have been knocked out and his nose may be broken. But the human skull is designed to absorb a lot of shock from the front of the face, so we didn't see a relatively big boom factor here. So let's hit him from the top of the head and see what happens. And now we're going to be testing out the optimal kill blow for killing any zombie. Uh, we're going to be coming straight to the top of the head. Uh, and again, to note, I will not be using the flat edge of the snow shovel. I'm going to be using the thin edge in order to generate all of the energy into the smallest point possible. Three. Two, one. With this hit, we can see that the integrity of the shovel has been compromised. But looking at the Z head here, I can only see that a little bit of skin has been scraped off the top. Well, all right then, I guess we're gonna need a more powerful snow tool. All right, so now we're gonna be testing out the ice scraper. Uh, this one's got high density plastic and a galvanized steel blade, and will be tested by our good friend here, weapons expert, Charles Fultz. Let's make this zombie go boom. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> okay. Our skull is laying here in a million pieces. <laughs> I'm holding one side of the brain. Ace has got the other half. It looks like it fits perfectly together. So Charles actually cut the skull open with a clean slice right down the middle. Oh, that is Certainly gets the ZGB seal of approval. I would say so. All right, so the ice scraper actually has a lot of positives to it. Uh, Charles was able to get a good distance away from the zombie. Uh, unbelievable damage. There's no damage at all to the weapon itself. He's got about an extra three or four feet, so nothing actually happened to Charles, even though the rest of us are covered in blood. Um, the only negative to it is that even as powerful as Charles is, he says it's extremely heavy. So after about three or four swings, you might get pretty tired, but uh, if you can keep it up, you're gonna do some damage. All right, so to recap, our uh, plastic snow shovel uh, is definitely disapproved. However, our ice scraper is 100% getting the ZGB seal approval, as it did comparable damage to our gunstock war club. So if that tells you anything, pretty intense. All right, guys, well, that does it for this episode of Zombie Go Boom. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm your host, Ace Timms. I'm Amanda Kimbrough. Charles Fultz. Check us out every Sunday for another episode. And I'll sit here plucking pheasants. And I'll sit here plucking pheasants. Till the pheasant plucker comes. Till the pheasant <laughs> Right, a good one. Oh, you too. Okay. <laughs>